My name is J.O. Calliman. I am born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. And I always had an interest in art ever since I could hold a pencil, really. I always found myself sketching in classes, writing or drawing in notebooks. It was always a go-to for me. I didn't really like painting too much until later on in life because there was a lot of patience involved. Over time, I did develop the patience and I ended up painting more (laughs) than I draw. I went to school for graphic design back in 2020. However, I didn't end up finishing it due to the pandemic. And also, after a while, I just started to dislike graphic design more and more. I felt restricted in my creativity. And so I ended up getting more involved into the art world of things. And I discovered many different art styles, such as surrealism and art deco movement. The one good thing that did come out of graphic design is that I was able to understand and discover what color theory is. Throughout all my paintings, I like to add lots of color. I would say my background did have some type of influence on my art. As you can see, none of my paintings have any faces. It's kind of, in a sense, a way to hide the identity behind the person. Growing up, I'm a very shy or was a very shy individual. And so I feel like subconsciously I painted how I was feeling at the time. Just trying to hide behind the camera most of the time. I think my artwork is really subconsciously dependent on the circumstances around me. For example, a lot of the paintings that I use has a lot of symbolism. There's there's also children in my paintings, which really symbolizes uh, nostalgia, going back in time to what once was. And also, I use a lot of color in my paintings. I do that to help people have a reaction of joy because in the world today it's just so dark and gray I like to add color so that people can really just smile from my paintings my biggest influences would have to be well really the whole surrealism art movement I was definitely so fascinated when I discovered the surrealism art movement the first time Because I got super bored and just absolutely bored by seeing the same lily or the same flower painted on a canvas. And I thought to myself that that's not art. Why do what a photograph can do when you can dive deep into your own world of imagination? And so my biggest influences would have to be studying the surrealism movement, particularly Vladimir Kush and Salvador Dali. I like how they took big risk in their paintings to create a certain type of dream world that you see in their pictures today. I think what I'm focusing on right now is just to really make the best artwork possible and to potentially one day uh, just live off of my art. I believe the biggest challenge of being an artist is will have to be fighting your right audience. I realize that not everyone is going to understand or like your artwork. And so I think just persevering despite the obstacles that come from starting to be your artist. I know for me, it will have to be marketing as well and just finding the right solutions to get my art in front of the right people. But with persistence, it absolutely has been paying off. One word of advice that I would give to my younger self is to not make artwork to please other people, but to make artwork to please yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's not the people pleasers that lead to the best art, but it's those who take the big risk in the end. As far as unconventional mediums, I honestly am boring when it comes to that. I do charcoal, watercolor, acrylic, oil, graphite, 
but I do want to get into clay and like sculpting one day soon. As far as techniques, um, I guess you could say that I like to paint upside down sometimes to get the proportions just right as well as the trajectory of everything because oftentimes I get too much in my head and I start to really see too much of the picture that I have to really step back and really see the whole picture as in just shapes and not some type of weird reality. I feel like I have to listen to music or other background noises when I'm doing my work because it really helps me to be able to um, get into the zone of things. I have both headphones in and I'm ready to go. I even actually did a painting called In the Moment. And the whole idea behind this painting is listening to the best part of the song in, your, in that moment. And so I really want to encapsulate that feeling in the painting that I did. The best reaction I got was when somebody was actually about to cry off of my painting. And it was actually a gift for someone. So that was a pretty good feeling. I won't forget that. At the end of the day, I want each individual to be able to see themselves in place of each of the character. That's the whole reason why I have the shapes in the first place. To be able to censor their identity so they can be able to picture themselves in place of each of the character. Because at the end of the day, that's what art is all about. It's about your own interpretation, seeing things from your perspective. And so by having shapes, it gives people the opportunity to use their imagination a little bit more. Feel free to follow me on my TikTok and Instagram, which should be JL Cali Art. And thank you for watching.